thinks that can be heard. Sound can influence the way we communicate the world with others. From the novelist to the master professional, from experimentation and play to a masterpiece, these are all the elements of sound. Hi, I'm your host, L.V. Smith, and today, you always heard me saying, I always have a beginner or a superstar with well, this is my first group of superstars here. We're going to have a couple of members of that group back in the heyday in the 70s called Mandrill. So today we're going to welcome Dr. Ricardo Wilson, and we have his brother, Lou Wilson. And we're going to find out all of what they have to share about in sound today. I am so honored to have you both. So it's an honor to be here. I cannot tell you. Okay, what makes you uh, Lou? Lou. Well, uh, DNA, <laughs> mother and father, and uh, the um, ancestry passed down all the way, and uh, and um, a good upbringing and love from family. That's what makes me me. Okay, the great traditions that need to be expressed more often. Mm -hmm. And you, Dr. Rick, let me sure. Uh, just to continue from where Lou left off, uh, there, there are four Wilson brothers, there used to be five. Uh, <clears throat> we were born in Panama and immigrated from Panama to uh, Brooklyn, New York, bed -Stuy. And with that, we brought the culture that we grew up with in Panama, the Caribbean culture, to the, to the uh, ghetto, as they call it, bed -Stuy in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, the uh, <clears throat> melting pot uh, of the world, as New York City is, you add that to the melting pot of the Caribbean, and that's, that's where we got our uh, stuff from. While we were back in, in the day, speaking of in the day, I read a fabulous article about you two. Just kill the thing. Um, just ignore it. Um, what we're going to talk about is, what was the first sound that attracted you? I think, speaking about growing up in Panama, percussion, uh, we were uh, all into playing percussion when we were on the beach, playing percussion with whatever was available at home. We would use mom's uh, pots and pans to play percussion, and then from there we graduated to playing, playing drums. Uh, I think that, that was the first uh, sounds that, that intrigued us, and as, brothers, as four brothers, we were able to, uh, to play together. And uh, that was always very special. And then beyond that, the, the voice, the voice, having the voice, being able to sing together and express ourselves. You know, from a very early age, we, we were doing that. So the combination of percussion and voice uh, was a significant part of our uh, upbringing. Well, um, to, we were, uh, as Rick was saying, in Panama, uh, the Caribbean. And before reggae, uh, there was the calypso music that we, we're steeped in your spiral lord melody. Now you hear my accent change like that, you see. So you had uh, quite a few, and then big band sound. These cats were, I mean, fabulous musicians. And the beat, the African extension of, you know, Glypso. So we would, uh, it was always music in the house. Mom and dad always danced. Grandma, God bless her, lived to 105. And uh, she would always dance. Jimmy, 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 bam, 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 bam. So that, that vibe was always going throughout the house. Then we sang in the church and uh, we played piano. I, I learned the piano uh, at an early age, at adolescence. And uh, when we came here, we did the, the brass instruments um, at Boys High School and uh, put everything together to form that group called Mandrigo. I was reading in that article back in the day, and it mentioned what you were saying about the value of instruments in a free public school. Would you care to expand on that? Yes. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah. Uh, it's so extremely important, and uh, particularly in today's uh, time when they are doing their best to take instruments out of the public schools. Uh, if it wasn't for that, for having instruments in public schools, I don't know if we would have been playing music professionally. We had the opportunity uh, 
to to have access to uh, to musical instruments in in elementary, uh, junior high, and high school, and it really helped to. Uh, uh, Lou was able to choose the trumpet. I was able to choose the saxophone after starting my clarinet because I didn't have a sax. But then they eventually got a sax, and and Lou, uh, Carlos played the trombone, and we played in the school band, and that was so important to uh, to develop uh, to developing our uh, chops as far as it was free, and it was free. <laughs> Something free. that too much today's public and politicians take for granted. Okay. They figure if it's free, who cares? Mm -hmm. no. And look at the talent. Speaking of talent, why don't you share your toys here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> these are called congas. Most, most people know. This is the quinto. This is the highest key. This is the tumba. This is big mama. You can hear it. And this is the conga. So you have stuff like... different uh, materials. Originally, bones were made from uh, animals' bones and they're shaped like ribs. They take the rib bone and then they clean them up and, and uh, took the meat off, dry them in the sun, put whatever. And a very simple instrument, but very powerful. African, uh, Africa is responsible for bringing a lot of stuff Thank you. forth. And, uh, but in Ireland, they, they, I think they play this also. Yeah? Yeah. I always play with with the, with that drum with the thing. So uh, two sticks. You can use the rulers. We used to use rulers in school. Break our rules and play. <laughs> so we practice. Had a lot of practice. You come this way. You come to yourself. Go back. You have a double lick. So you, this is the sound. And it's all wrist. And the faster you do it, and you can three. And hand bone, same kind of thing like hand bone. Remember hand bone? I remember hand bone. Same kind of lick. Today, so let's hear from our first track, uh, Mandrill. Mm.
Welcome back, welcome back. That was Mad Drill. Yeah. And uh, later on, we'll hear what the song that really launched them to stardom, but we're gonna save the best for last. We're gonna get back to our two members here, the Wilson brothers. Um, Rick, let's go, What? who were some of your influences that drove you? You brought up the family, but let's hear it all. How did uh, you got involved to the sounds that got you to where you are? I think just in general, as Lou mentioned, the, the Caribbean culture, uh, Latin and, uh, and, and Calypso, uh, <clears throat> that, we were, uh, that we were exposed to in Panama, and then coming to the United States and, and, and being introduced to more of that, but also being introduced to jazz and R&B and funk and, and, and putting all of that together. We, you know, from a, from a sax perspective, I, I loved, uh, I loved uh, John Coltrane, Farrell Sanders, Rassan, Roland Kirk, you know, these were people that we would check out at various clubs in New York, the Village Vanguard, the Village Gate, you know, we were, we were right in the midst of it all, you know, everybody was coming through, we would see, we would see them all. And then on top of that, there was Fillmore East in New York, where all the rock musicians would come, Jimmy and uh, The Who and all of that. So we were able to check all of that out. And I think our music reflected, uh, and then the Apollo. I mean, I forget Can't the Apollo. Can't forget you know, the Apollo. All, with all with Ray Charles yes. and James Brown. And yep. we ended up being, we, we fortunately after seeing all those great stars in the Apollo, we ended up playing the Apollo for three, three times, you know? And uh, it was a mix, three solo out of you. And, uh, and in addition to Carnegie Hall, and Philadelphia. we talked about Carnegie Hall, but come on, it, 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 those of stuff. our perspective and our background, you nobody until you play the, the Apollo. Apollo. That's exactly it. And in fact, at the Apollo, Duke Ellington saw us backstage at the Apollo. No. And came to, he asked us to join him at Philharmonic Hall. The man who played with Duke Ellington at Philharmonic oh, Hall. But it was right. at the Apollo that he, yeah, okay. he, he sneaked in the back, you know, he pulled up his limousine while we were on stage playing and said, I wanted these guys to join us. And that was such a blessing for us. Yes. Such a blessing. Now, go ahead. Yeah, no, great dude. But uh, uh, we, didn't, we neglected to say that the brothers who just sang, we did the amateur hour, which was like in the early days. At the Apollo. Apollo is brutal. So mm -hmm. we, we used to do Calypso, you know, like, uh, mama, look up, boo, boo, you know, in harmony. Right. The band don't help you out. Mm -mm. Tell you till they hear whether or not you're mm -hmm. cool. So we won the amateur hour. We, we hit it, no, we hit it twice at the Apollo. Yeah, the band is still, and the people, hey, man. And so then after that, we when Mandrel was formed. Right. Actually, we went before we were Mandrel. Oh yeah, as we were young, younger kids. Right, and then we went as uh, as Willpower. I think we had two groups before right. Mandrel. So anyway, we went back, and the people loved us, man. And uh, if you ain't hitting. It's they like Sandman it. come out. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> I'm, I'm Sandman familiar with that. With it's cold. It's very cold. <laughs> yeah. It's not like the old cartoon of the hook. It was much more brutal. Yeah. Those yeah. folks yeah. will tell you what you were worth. Yeah. New York, they don't play. No, they don't. Uh, it seems what you're telling uh, the audience that a lot of your influence is not just who are big, prominent people, but people who were part of the culture, your root, your family. Uh, your heritage, which began from motherland, uh, the continent, not the country, the continent of Africa. That's right. And so, like, you embrace that culture where a lot of us are trying to find it. And somehow, I don't know, in a lot of our music, somehow I'm missing something. Yeah. You know, that stems from, and you know, we talk about it. See, we had parents that, that taught us about, you know, my dad always said, Respect all men. There's no one greater than you, and you know you respect everyone else. Respect everybody and demand respect from you know your dig. And don't disrespect human beings. And the brainwashing because of the way the economic thing moved, the thing called slavery, 
a lot of folks were cut off from the root. And you know, um, this is what this is real. And rediscovering roots in, in these days, you know, um, is a wonderful thing. I mean, uh, um, and it goes way back. How you feel about yourself, you see, and about how you feel about your music, and check out your ancestry, because there were some heavy folks. I mean, all tribes, all tribes had their their gift to their folks. But when when that that lineage is severed. That can cause that can wreak havoc today with those that are coming that are in fact are coming along. So we had parents that would hey, you guys are great, and they would push us to to towards you know loving self and loving family, and wow. that that's a beautiful thing. It is. It's so beautiful that the demon called time is cut us down to ten minutes. Okay. That's just how dangerous that thing is. Uh, so we're gonna make a little shift in this thing. Mm -hmm. Much as I love your concert on Andrew, I'm very much enticed by your percussions. And we'll close off with my favorite song, mm -hmm. uh, Fence Law. But uh, I understand you guys are going to be doing a concert soon. That's right, that's right. Uh, on August 4th of 2012, which is Saturday night, uh, Mandrill will be performing uh, at the Ford Amphitheater in Los Angeles. That's right across from uh, the Hollywood Bowl on uh, uh, Coenga North. And it's a beautiful outdoor uh, environment and uh, we'll, we'll be doing a special presentation there. We're hoping to have uh, additional, in addition to the members of Mandro, we're hoping to also have uh, some African drummers and dancers. We uh, are looking to try to get together with the, uh, the uh, LA Youth Orchestra uh, to have some strings uh, joining us on some of our symphonic songs. Yes. As we did back in the day, we yes. played back at Philharmonic Hall with the Symphony of the New World, where Mandrill performed our music to an 80-piece orchestra and a 100-voice chorus. That was just amazing, amazing, amazing. So anyway, we're going to be reproducing that type of flavor at the Ford Amphitheater mm -hmm. on, the, on the 4th of August. You know, let's hear a little bit of you. I hate to say this. Much as I love that DVD, nothing beats live presentation. I hear too much karaoke in today's business. <laughs> and I mean, it's fun. beautiful, it's nice, it's but <laughs> uh, nothing beats actual live attempt. Even if it's just you singing in the shower, it's you. Uh, it's yeah. not you lip singing. Can we hear a little more of you and live? And, and then there's a little lip sync story that we need to talk about. But anyway, go, uh, go for it. <laughs> You know, the move call, man. Yeah. as we converse and talk about ways we uh, all can give back to the community and what you're doing with our youth. Fantastic. So uh, in control, we get to look at a few photos as we talk of your of Mandrill performance, and we get to watch and close us off at the end, which mm -hmm. I'm not looking forward to the end, but then when the end with Mandrill is here, I'm loving it. So we're going to be doing the the photos now. Oh, they need a little time, so that's okay, no problem. Oh, but look, lo and behold, 
So there is some the photos of the group. So our key uh, general manager, I mean, uh, floor manager will let us know when we're back online. Later. Don't do so we're off now. Uh, no, no, we did. We know we're talking. We're talking. We're talking. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things you do to uh, work with the community and how can we give back? Giving back is so, so important. And uh, what we do uh, when we're traveling, uh, we do clinics. We visit schools um, and uh, take our, uh, a lot of our percussion instruments. Sometimes Carl will have a flute and, uh, and we'll, we'll just do some live jamming with the kids. We'll take the bones and, uh, you know, Lou particularly will demonstrate the, the, the use of the bones. Uh, and, uh, and the kids are just so uh, hungry. Yes. For information, you know, yes. it's like they can't get enough of it. And so we try to do that wherever we are in the world. We'll, we'll get together, we'll go to a, 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 an elementary or high school and just get to, get to... Mm -hmm. get an elementary school for you. You know, get, get to display what, what, what we're doing, uh, particularly from a percussion yes. perspective uh, to the kids. And then we talk to the kids also. I, I have been fortunate to to go on to a full scholarship at Harvard and and uh, and medical school and to become a doctor. We, we try to share with the, with the kids the value of, the value the education. of education. That's extremely important. I mean, music, all of that stuff is great. Athletics, you know, so many of our kids, I want to be like Maddie Johnson. I want to be like, you know, Kobe this Brown, or that person. Or but Brown. And that's all great. And then that's nothing yeah. to, to, to sneeze at. However, you got to have a foundation. Thank you. You know, so many of the kids that are striving to be uh, athletes, you know, you get injured, you, you don't make it or whatever, but you need an education. And that's what we strive to tell the kids. And you don't have to just limit yourself to one thing. You can be all that you can be. Right. You just have to, to really get that foundation. And, uh... Wonderful. Now, um, we're down to three minutes now, so... Uh... We need to know how we can get in contact with you. Very important. Okay. Let me say this. Uh, we're so proud of this young man. He said he's a doctor, but he's a cardiologist. Not, and that's, yeah. Yeah. He's a specialist. <laughs> he's a heart. He has saved a lot of life, lives. This is my brother, Rick, and we are all proud of him. All and doctors are both, but a cardiologist. He's a cardiologist. He has saved people's <laughs> lives. I mean, no I mean, kidding. You know, I mean, doctors are cool, but uh, I just yeah. wanted to insert that because he's so humble, you know. Yes. So uh, just for the record, this cat is, he's all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, appreciate that. My, my message to my patients is that uh, you have the power. The patient has the power to really do more than we believe. It's not all on the doctor. The patient has to be empowered to yes. to, to, to take care of themselves. You know, that, that that's an important message. How important. do we get in so contact with, with, with yeah? Mandrill. It's let me give you uh, the website is www.mandrillmusic.com. That's M A N D R I L L mandrill music m-u-s-i-c dot com that will give us uh access to mandrill you can also go to facebook as well facebook uh the band uh man mandrill the band on facebook uh, will get you uh to us as well so we, we look forward to that and lb we have to to give props to you and work that you're doing at sounds within you guys are doing a phenomenal job at, you know getting uh access to the airways uh I think I have to commend you. We have to commend you as far as doing, doing that. It's both ways. And Lou, we're going to let you close off. Advice to the young. Uh, advice to the young. Wrapping it up, saying uh, dream. Uh, keep your dreams happening and know that whatever you dream, whatever you think and put, mind, put into mind, it can come true. And uh, no fear. Go for it. Something that's trumped me most of my life. I'm just learning since retirement how to step up, man up, as they say. Well, folks, I want to thank you for attending a very special edition of Sounds Within with Mandro, featuring Dr. Rick and Lou Wilson. So do tune in again, and uh, we never know who's going to come next. And always pursue what you truly believe in. Doesn't matter who you are, where you are. And in one song they said, don't you know you're free, at least if in your mind, if you want to be. That's right. Peace all.